serve as the cell's home away from home in the sense that it gives the cell structural and, and biochemical cues that we hope it's, will do uh, its regenerative response, like trying to heal a wound. Right? And those signals are really complex, but essentially they, they serve as stop, go, reorganize signals. And, um, and what it, one example of a hydrogel is, is jello. And actually that's a gelatin based first hydrogels ever used in tissue engineering. And they're formed from the major structural unit in the body. So I mentioned that hydrogels are supposed to give itself a structure, which is collagen. And um, during my PhD work, I actually used quite a number of these collagen. And from that work, I became interested in, in how, the, how the hydrogel is signaling to the cells. Like, wh what are these cues that we're giving them? And how can we program those cues in? So a lot of the work that's I'm trying to use these hydrogel environments and put in specific signals and look at the result on cell behavior. How is the cell being um, directed to behave? Is it regenerating um, the tissue like we expect? Then if it's not, let me switch up those cues and, and, and see why. So that's essentially how I'm using the hydrogel environment in my work. When we think about the most common way to deliver drugs, we often think of pills when you therapeutic contents to the rest of the body. But oftentimes a pill may carry too much of one drug or not enough of another. Excessive amounts of a drug can damage surrounding tissues while deficiencies can weaken its Researchers are looking for ways to tailor smart pills to release drugs in very specific ways for more targeted, effective drug delivery. The idea is that a pill may one day change its, its shape to release drugs all at once or bit by bit, depending on a patient's treatment plan. Now we could uh, use the uh, tubular gel as a new delivery vehicle. It's almost like a, a robot, but this robot actually uh, controls the release by its own shape. At the very beginning, they all look alike. They are all of a similar tubular shape, but uh, based on now the uh, mechanical difference that uh, this uh, tube feels in the environment, they could uh, release um, into different volume and into different directions. With this in mind, MIT researchers are studying hydrogels, materials commonly used to make pills, and looking at how these gels deform. They say that by knowing how these materials change shape, scientists can make shape-shifting pills designed to squeeze out drugs at specifically targeted areas in the body. Um, just to give you an example, to heal bones, um, this process uh, usually takes you know, uh, in the order of months. However, if we now have uh, capabilities of engineer the tubes, engineer the tissue scaffold, so that we could uh, control not only the time at, you know, at which the cartilage is forming, but also uh, to control the direction and the location of uh, the release of growth factors based on now the shape of the scaffold. And uh, we hope to see them really play um, a critical role for, uh, as a drug delivery vehicle for tissue regeneration and tissue healing. Hydrogels, sometimes called aquagels, consist of a network of hydrophilic polymer chains that are highly absorbent. Gels are mostly liquid by weight, but act like solids due to the polymer network within. These gels are more common than you might think. They are present in hair gel, fake snow, pills, spray-on bandages, and potting soil. The most common source for these polymers is in diapers. To extract sodium polyacrylate from a diaper, you will need a paper towel, a sealable plastic bag, a container of water, a container to hold your polymer, and a diaper. Begin by tearing the cotton out of the diaper over the paper towel. A hard granular material will fall out. Once you have the cotton removed and on the paper towel, tear it apart to release all of the embedded polymer. Toss aside the large pieces of cotton.
some of the cotton fibers will inevitably be mixed in with your polymer. For further purification, funnel your mixture into a plastic bag. Seal the bag and give it a good shake. The cotton fibers will stick together and be easier to remove. Transfer the polymer to a container and begin adding water. If you're using deionized water, the polymer can absorb up to 300 times its weight. Normal tap water will vary between 40 and 200 times absorbance depending on what kinds of minerals are present. Notice how the mixture starts out like water. The fluid is swirling all up the sides of the container. But after a few seconds of swirling, the mixture turns very viscous. It shouldn't surprise you that this amount of acrylate can hold this entire container as a solid. After all, this was extracted from a diaper, 